What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I am here and uh, I've bought a new car today. So you can see by the badge there, it's a Lexus. It's a little older, it's a 2007. And uh, let's go for a quick little drive in it and then I'll review the model or I'll reveal the car's uh, exterior to you guys so you can see what it is. I just needed a little commuter car that would be reliable. So I picked this up and uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. just cruising in the new Lexus and the car is driving really nice it's smooth it's a uh, it's a 2007 and it has 104,000 miles on the clock so it's a uh, really low mileage um, nice v6 engine six-speed automatic transmission so it'll be a good daily commuter not sure what the plans are with it later I'll finish up my drive here guys and then we will Continue on roads, like take road a look at the car two miles. We're gonna swap the wheels, and you can see these are a plus 50 mil offset. So you can see all that fender overhang there. That's a lot better. Oh, that looks sick. Well guys, what better way to celebrate than buying a new car and putting a nice set of wheels on it. So this really dresses up the uh, 2007 Lexus IS 3 or 250, excuse me. And the nice thing I noticed with this is the owner paid to have a dealer option upgrade. These are the IS 350 brakes. So it has the bigger brakes like the car that has the 3.5 liter V6. I wanted to change the uh, angle of the car so I could get a little bit better light. We can see how these wheels, they, um, they're not tucked in as much, especially on the front. They look really good. Um, these are, fifth, or the stock were 50 mil offset. These are 35, so they stick out a little bit more, which is nice. But the car looks pretty good. It's uh, got 104,000 miles on it. The paint looks pretty good, it just needs to be polished. But uh, I'll take you guys home and we'll take a look at the interior. It needs to definitely be deep cleaned and detailed. And uh, I'll get this thing looking pretty good. So it'll be a nice, nice little daily driver. Well, here's a look at the interior. And these models of Lexus are known for this material kind of uh, breaks down over time. And there was actually a recall on Lexus, but that ended about a year ago. So I'm not gonna be able to get it replaced. But the leather is in really good condition. It's really soft. Um, interior looks good. It needs to be uh, just really thoroughly cleaned. So I'm gonna get a bucket of water and soap and we're gonna clean. I'm gonna take the carpets out and clean all the carpet and just clean all those door panels up and put some uh, like armor all type stuff, meg wires. Back seat's real small, but I can use this for my daughter, my five-year-old. I can. Uh, she can ride back here. But I'm gonna clean everything up and then I'll come back and show you guys kind of what it looks like because it's a little dirty in like the cup holder and down in here there's a lot of just soot and crap. It's just dirty, it needs to be cleaned. All right guys, it is uh, Thursday morning. So it's been a couple of days. Um, I've got the car pretty much all cleaned up. So the trunk's all clean. Got in like all the seals and jams all clean. Um, if you look inside the interior, I did drive it yesterday and we did go to Snoqualmie Falls, so the carpet's a little dirty, but I did wipe all the seats out. I cleaned up all the center console, so like in here it's all clean. I've got my nice squash air freshener, if you guys uh, know what those smell like, they smell really good. Um, this is all cleaned out. I got the dash, um, all that dash bubble. I was able to clean all the sticky stuff off, just with the mild soap and water, and then I used... Uh, Meg wires, kind of like armor roll uh, stuff that I put on here. And the only place that's really showing the wear is just right here. But the rest of the doors look pretty nice. 
So, and I also cleaned all the interior. So the entire roof liner's been cleaned. Basically every square inch of this thing's been cleaned with hot soapy water, the carpet, everything. So it's all clean. I finish up on, in today's video, I'm gonna pull the car back into the driveway. We are going to finish washing like the side of it. There's like some tar and stuff on it here. So I wanna get all these things off the body just cause I'm kinda, I have, I have ADD or something or OCD when it comes to my cars. That stuff will literally, like literally just drive me crazy. I'll be laying in bed at night and I'll be thinking I need to wash the damn car. Um, so I'm gonna clean that, I'm gonna clay bar it. I'm gonna probably just do like some, uh, spend like an hour just doing like a uh, quick polishing on the car and uh, then put some sealant and some ceramic coat on it. Uh, the front wheels, the issue I'm having, these do rub, they're a little bit too big. So the stock size, when you look at the tires, are 225, 40, 18s. That's the biggest that they recommend putting on here. These are 245, 40, 18, so the aspect ratio, this is just a little thicker than if it was 225, so I think I need to buy a um, 245, 35, 18, because it's rubbing a little bit just back in here. And it's rubbing somewhere over there, so I need to get it up on a jack in the garage and see exactly where it's rubbing, just to make sure before I spend another four or five hundred dollars on a couple of set or a couple of tires for the front. Here. But I hope you guys like the Lexus IS250. If you do, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. I think this will be a good daily driver. And the biggest thing I like about these cars, um, they are 100% made in Japan. A lot of the uh, other Japanese cars are not made in Japan anymore, so. This is reliable and it should last only 104,000 miles on the clock. I'm hoping I can get 200 to 250 out of it. And I don't care if it's worth zero because for $8,000, if I can get 100,000 miles out of a car, I don't really care. And I've already rain xed all the glass, as you guys can see, because when you live in Seattle, it rains here a lot. I like to be able to see when I drive. these little LED lights on here which is kind of cool for how old the car is and then even the Lexus symbol is illuminated and glows which is kind of cool I'm kind of cool looking was the dirtiest part of the car this whole fill door area was all black like that all the lights and everything work pretty excited Guys, I've got the car back in the garage. I was getting ready to clay it because I was scrubbing the body down, trying to get all these little pieces of tar and stuff off of this. I don't know if you guys can see these. But just working on getting that stuff off uh, by hand and then the rest I could remove with clay. But I notice, if you guys listen, up here, nice and soft. And then for the difference there, um, if the camera will pick it up, there's actually overspray on the car. And it just goes along the side of the door right here. And I noticed that the rear bumper was repainted. You can tell the paint is not like perfectly matching to the body. And you can see like little evidence of like spray. Um, I think they just didn't mask it off and they just painted the bumper on the car, which is really lazy way to save time. But you can see right here, there's overspray on this wheel liner on that on that felt material you've got overspray here so it was painted in position and it seems like there's just a little bit of overspray in these body panels here so the the masking or whatever the plastic must have had a gap in it on each side i'm gonna finish cleaning up this side there's tar and stuff that still needs to be picked off by by fingernail and then i'll have to um, finish detailing the body after I finish the Sylvia because I've got my gaskets coming for the Sylvia from FR Sports. They're coming on Friday, which is tomorrow, so I'll be able to finish that off on my next days off. One last look. The interior turned out pretty good. The car's in pretty clean condition. It's like 14 years old, so I wasn't expecting anything, you know, in perfect shape. I just wanted something that I can drive that most likely I'll end up giving to my 16-year-old uh, daughter. So. I don't care if I have a hundred percent loss on this car because I'm getting it for so inexpensive compared to like what a newer, nicer, normal car would cost. My wife's car was like forty-seven thousand dollars with tax, and for eight grand, who really cares? You know, I want to drive it, have fun with it. I don't care if it gets door dinged or beat up or whatever. 
as long as it's uh, safe, reliable, and gets me back and forth to work. But I'm happy with it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I like the color. It's a nice white pearl. I think it looks really nice. Very aggressive. Um, it'll help me when I have to sell the Sylvia. I won't miss it as much as I have at least something that's somewhat kind of cool to drive until I import my next car from Japan. Sorry I haven't produced a lot of content. I've got like four different or five different videos that are all shot that I haven't finished editing because I haven't finished projects because I'm waiting on parts and stuff like that. And I've just been busy with my family, so. I'm working on clay barring the body right now. And the body's actually very clean. Um, I could probably do the entire car in about an hour at this pace. I'm already hit the whole front hood, uh, front fenders. Uh, you can see I've got all the tar and everything removed from the bottom, where you can see over in the door, there's still little specks of tar and everything on it. It's the next morning, guys, and I have spent pretty much the entire day yesterday um, polishing this putting some wax on it. Um, I also clay barred it before that, cleaned all the tar off of it. And then I did some finishing sealant, cured overnight, and the body you can see looks way better. It's nice and shiny, it's clean, car looks classy. I'm super excited about it. I gotta take off and go to work right now. I just finished running, uh, rubbing the sealant off this morning. So we're good to go. Cleaned out all these door jams. You can see this is all cleaned out. It looks good. There's a little bit of uh, the car in the sunlight. You can see the uh, reflection pretty good off of there. Seats are nice and clean, and the leather back here is really nice. It definitely doesn't seem like it's uh, 14 years old. Roof liner is all fully wiped and detailed, even like the driver's seat. Armrest is really nice. The bolstering on the seat is nice. Even like people getting in and out, this is like barely showing any wear. So it looks like it was pretty well taken care of. Steering wheel looks really good. Just the dash. And it's a pretty big before and after. Um, this centerpiece that's showing detail issues, I think uh, somebody tried removing it and cleaning it or something. But I'm just gonna sand it all down and paint it black. This just removes and it'll match with the uh, side vents over there. So, yeah, that's it. And this is little Julia who's almost six, and this back seat is plenty enough space for her to sit back here and buckle up, and she can put her armrest down, and she can be nice and cozy. The front seat is still set forward with enough space for like my 15 year old daughter or my wife or somebody to get in here. But uh, this is like the third ending I've done to this video because I keep working on stuff on the car and I keep wanting to add more to the video so I don't have to make a second video on it. But if you guys want to see videos on detailing, I've already done a full how to polish and do paint restoration on the R32 GTR as well as the Sylvia. Nobody watches that content so I didn't want to waste my time showing you guys how to clay bar paint and how to do paint correction, polishing paint, and sealing it and protecting the car. Anyway, I detailed it inside, outside. It looks good. It's up to my level of what I want to be, uh, to have the car look like as well as the car I want to spend time in. It's clean, it looks good. And now that I've gone ahead and detailed the inside, the outside of the car, there are a few things that I want to do mechanically just to make sure the vehicle's sound. The brake pads have been replaced. Uh, the, the previous owner had a receipt for it and I can see the pads are brand new. The rotors in the front are warped, so I need to replace those or either get them resurfaced. Um, he did change the oil. I checked it. It's clean. I'm going to change it again. <coughs> I've got some new Toyota oil, oil filters over there and uh, 10 quarts of oil so I can change that myself. I ordered the oil filter wrench. I want to change the air intake filter, the uh, cabin circulation uh, refilter. Uh, for the inside of the car and then I'll probably change like the transmission fluid in the rear diff So I just know all the fluids are gone through and that should get the car uh, Pretty much up to a level where I'm comfortable driving. I know the maintenance is done 
I shouldn't have any uh, long-term issues. So I will make videos on all of those things on the list that I just listed off and that content will be coming later because I have to finish the Sylvia. That's my next project. I have to get it finished because I told my wife I would and I told her I would sell it. So I have to sell it. So got to get that done. So anyway, guys, hope you liked the video. If you did, uh, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. Keep it real. Peace.